30s and possibly your 40s or 50s. This video is going to be me trying old foundation that I used to love and by old I mean old brands and types of foundation that I used to absolutely love. I've got them right here. I just went and picked these up from Sephora but I used to use a Kat Von D one, the, the tattoo locket or pop and locket or whatever the hell that one was. Um, and then Urban Decay had a kind of similar bottle and they were not there. So I got these four and we're gonna test these on my skin. Some days your skin works with you and some days it does not. I swear sometimes like I'll use a foundation that worked for me great like two days ago and then I'll put it on and it'll just be like, so like stuck in my pores and just looks like I got sandblasted in the face. So I think a lot of it has to do with like your hydration levels of your skin, what skincare you used that day or maybe earlier. But basically like around the end of my 20s, like I would say like 27, 28, 29, I started to notice that I was not able to wear some of the same foundations that I used to wear. They just didn't look good on my skin and they made me look old. And because of that, I've gone through a period where I haven't worn colorful makeup really and I haven't worn these foundations because I was just like, holy hell, especially in the car mirror. Dear Lord Jesus, do not ever look in that car mirror. Oh my gosh, you don't look like that, okay? So I started to like lighter foundations, but if you don't have super clear skin, maybe that's not something you're comfortable with. So we're gonna try some foundations out that I literally haven't tried for like at least five years. Let me go through them and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one brand on one side of my face and the other brand on the other. The first one, I remember when this came out, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Foundation. Now each of these foundations is a full coverage foundation. This shade that I got is Bronze Beige and I was in Ulta today buying these and I honestly don't know if I got the right shade so Good thing I'm wearing a, a higher top. By the way, I'll link this for you in the description box. I freaking love this shirt. Um, I also have it linked in my blog. I do a monthly like things I'm loving on one page so you can kind of scroll down and see like June, July, like whatever. And this is on there. Um, I also include a lot of shit that I buy myself. So anyways, when this came out, I remember the PR package and I was just like, wow, Wet n Wild Foundation. I've never had a good experience. Let's try this and I loved this. Now when I got this, I had a really interesting little, yep, they haven't really changed it. This little interesting thing, like I don't know, like are you supposed to put that right on your skin with that? I don't know. It also smelled like paint, let's see. Still smells like paint, definitely still smells like paint. So this is one that I wore a lot. This one is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I also got this in a PR package quite a while ago. The shade I got is Cashew. Oh, that looks real pale. Hmm, maybe, I don't know. This looks really pale. Um, this used to be, if I'm not mistaken, in a like soft plastic. Yeah, it used to be in packaging like that. So I was a little surprised when I saw that, but I actually like this better. You can see how much of it you've used. Okay, so two others that we're gonna use. I went through a phase where I used this all the time and I not only used it for my foundation, but I also used it to like contour. This is the Hourglass Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. So we're gonna try that and the shade I got in this one is Warm Ivory. Now this, I haven't used this foundation since like I went to Bora Bora with Tarte, which was like 2016 maybe. This is the Amazonian Clay 16 hour full coverage foundation. So we've got a 16 hour foundation claim and a 24 hour foundation claim. Am I gonna leave this room like hating myself and my skin today? I guess we're gonna find out. I, for the first time in about five years, used a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, to put on my foundation the other day because again, like I was saying, the foundation kept like sticking into my pores and it was just like not a good look. So I used a beauty blender and it was so weird because I haven't used a beauty blender to put foundation on in so freaking long. So that was definitely interesting. So uh, today um, I'm actually going to be using my foundation brush and it is not very clean. So <laughs> hopefully that doesn't matter. This is what we're working with right here. Uh, okay, so, and by the way, this is a Morphe M439 brush. You get 20% off, is it 15, 20? You get a percentage off Morphe with my code Kristen online in stores if you wanna 
try that out. I also wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to attempt to upload twice a week on this channel and once a week on my animal channel. I have an animal channel if you didn't know. It's linked in the description box so you can check that out if you want. I don't think I've done a schedule for a few years because when I was moving to Nashville, I had so much going on. I had identity theft and I was going through a divorce. I was moving across the country. I was shipping my car. I had to bring all my animals. It was intense. I moved, I didn't move back from Nashville, but I moved my animals back from Nashville and a lot of my junk. So again, it's been a whirlwind, but we're gonna try and get back on a schedule and we're gonna do Tuesdays and Thursdays for this channel. And then on my animal channel, we're gonna do Sundays. So you have something to look forward to, see some animals on the weekends. Okay. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. You need to get up close and personal. We're gonna have to be, you're gonna be in my personal space. Can you see my mustache? I really, oh, oh no, we need to go up. Hello. Let's give Wet n Wild a good shake shakeroo. One thing that I used to do, which I don't know if you guys still do that. Actually, what am I doing? I'm like pushing this down on the thing. I'm just gonna go straight from here. I used to put this straight on my face. Why? You can't control how much is going on when you do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this on here and dab it off onto my little thing. I don't have a mirror. <laughs> what? Thank goodness I have some, a Barbie makeup mirror from ColourPop over here. Hang on. How is this supposed to work? Okay, I'm not gonna use any primer and before I came here today, I did wash my face but I didn't put anything on it. So, oh, it smells so bad. You know a feeling that I hate is like removing foundation off my skin like right after I put it on. I don't know why that just like grosses me out. Like I feel like my skin is so nasty after that. I don't know why, it's so weird. Okay, so, so far this is like looking pretty good to me. Like I probably would use a primer to fill in a little bit. Of, I, I always get like bigger pores here, my nose and especially right there. This isn't like as crazy gross and full coverage as I remember it being. I don't know, it doesn't look it doesn't look super heavy on me, which I feel like I remember it being heavier than this. One thing I've been doing lately too is I've actually been just using my, like I've been using a little bit of color corrector. You can kind of see, I'm just gonna use this to point, but you can kind of see right in here a little bit of a darker tone. I've been using the Urban Decay like peach color corrector for that. And then for the um, rest of my like eye area, I've just been using my foundation because I find I don't know, maybe you guys have a good recommendation for a concealer, but I've been using the Morphe one here and there, and what else, a dose of colors, but for the most part, I find concealers should just be too freaking thick for my under eye area, and it just makes me look old, and I just don't need to look older than I am, okay? For the record, too, I'm turning 33 this year, you guys. How old are you? I feel like I'm not gonna set this until after both sides are done and then we'll set it to see what it comes together looking like. Okay, so we're get, next gonna use the Becca Ultimate Coverage on this side, but you can kind of see on my chin like the redness and all the discoloration that this actually, this side broke out a little bit more during my period, but you can see the difference here, obviously. I remember this one being pretty thick. Ooh. This tag in my shirt is so freaking loud. Jeez, how dare you. Are we ready? <laughs> Dude, I got a pimple coming in right there, it hurts. Okay, it's definitely feeling thicker right off the bat. The fact that these companies are still selling these foundations like tells you something. This is gonna be interesting to see a high-end foundation next to Wet n Wild because Wet n Wild's looking better to me as of right now. I think Wet n Wild's looking a little bit better, but like I said, this side did have a little bit more in the breakout department. So I don't know, but I'm thinking, I mean, it, it's so slight. I like almost, I almost like can't even tell that I have two different types of foundations on. Can you? I have to say, both of these right now, I would wear these. Also, it's about time that I bought foundation. I have been so blessed and I haven't bought foundation for myself 
in a very long time. This is what we've got going on. I see a smile line forming faster on this side than this side. It looks so similar, like even up close, I maybe it's different on camera, but I cannot tell that I have two different foundations on. Let's powder this bitch and see what we've got, because right now I'm feeling like I would wear both of these. The Hourglass Veil Foundation. Where's my miniature mirror? I am, oh, whoa, hello. <laughs> Just got real excited. I like don't wanna take this off because I like the way that it looks. <sighs> Final thoughts on these two. Uh, basically just to recap what I just said, um, I think they look almost the same. I'm seeing some wrinkles form on the Becca side as opposed to the Wet n Wild side. Wet n Wild foundation was six dollars and 49 cents. Becca foundation was $44. That is insane. Bro, look at my skin. Wet n Wild wins that one. I mean, they both look really good. I'll, I would wear both of these. But the fact that this side was $6 and 44 something cents and this was $44, I can't believe that. I'm gonna take this off, but I would love to hear what you guys think. Did Wet n Wild, does Wet n Wild look better for you or does Becca look better? And how do you think this looks on my 30 plus skin? Now we're gonna do, let's see, Tarte on this side, Hourglass on this side. So let's start with the Tarte. So the Tarte is 39 and the Hourglass is 46. So $7 difference. If I remember correctly, this was almost like a, like a mousse kind of. Let's see how well it did on the color on this one. <laughs> Ooh, it smells better than it used to. I mean, I don't think it smelled like anything before. Now it straight up smells like flowers, like a floral perfume almost, which means that there's more oil in it. Maybe this was how it smelled before and I just am not remembering, but now back when I used these also, I will note that I didn't used to use a brush. Dude, that looks so good. I didn't used to use a brush. So I don't know if using a beauty blender caused me to like put more of it on. But typically when there are more like more scent to something, that's why a lot of skincare companies don't use scent in their product because it adds oil. That's how you get those scents. They are from fragrance oils. There's the side without foundation. You can see that guy that just popped. <laughs> and then this side has the Tarte foundation and that looks so good. I am really pleasantly surprised right now and I'm really excited because I was feeling like I was kind of running out of foundations that I like to use. I've been using List Beauty um, foundation, which I really like and, uh, and one of the Urban Decay hydrating ones, but I just, I don't know. This looks like it might be a little yellowy, but really what we're looking at is how it looks on my skin. So I also don't love the idea that you just mostly like put this right on your skin and then you blend it in. Like, look how gross that looks over my pores, ew. Usually this will, it used to kind of just melt into your skin and it was pretty easy to um, blend out. I've never really been a huge fan of stick foundation. I just think it's harder to control how much you put on your face and you usually need to use more. And if it doesn't blend in super well, it's a little streaky. The colors are obviously a little bit different. The shades, I guess I should say. So the hourglass one is definitely heavier looking to me. Like I'm noticing it where the light is kind of hitting right here. I feel like my pores are a little more obvious over here. Like it's just a little shinier and heavier looking. And this side is looking like really good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and powder. So um, I don't like hate this side. I think maybe I would try like a little bit less, but just looking at this right now up close, like it doesn't look bad. Overall, um, I'm leaning towards this side. What do you guys think between Tarte 
and hourglass here. We also use the hourglass setting powder, so hopefully those play together nicely, but I'm about to film a get ready with me, and I think, I think I'm either gonna use, I think my favorites so far out of this were the Wet n Wild and the Tarte, and I'm just like really surprised by all of this, to be honest. I expected this to be a little bit like a circus and just to be like, wow, these are horrible. I don't know what's going on or if I just put way too much foundation on back then. Like, I don't really know. Cause I'm just like perplexed because I remember not using these anymore because they were too heavy. Maybe it would be fun to do a video where I try on foundations that you guys are not loving on your more mature skin. And when I say mature, I mean like 27 and up. If you're below that, like go fuck yourself. Your skin's still amazing. <laughs> Us guys and gals over like 27, I would say, you start to typically see your skin shift directions a little bit and you can't really always use the same products that you used to use. I think my least favorite was this hourglass one. Again, I just don't really tend to be the type of person that likes like the stick foundations. But let me know in the comments below if you have foundations that you realize that you just couldn't wear anymore, please do keep in mind, unfortunately, I, not unfortunately, but I only use cruelty-free products. If you're not sure, just throw it down there anyway, and maybe I can do a video where I go out and buy some of these and try them on my skin and see if I like them or not. And we will see you in the next video. I think the next video that you're gonna see for me is a, um, I did a haul and I did talk about being pregnant because I bought a few things in it for that. And obviously I'm not pregnant anymore. If you don't know about that, I did have a miscarriage and I will link that video for you in the description box as well if you want to catch up with what's going on in my life. Here's to sticking to a schedule and uploading every Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> Bye guys, I'll see you in the next video.